I'm Ben and I want to be a scientist when I grow up. We're making explosions with coke and Mentos. This explosion is a physical reaction. Ben comes from a long line of scientists. Um, my husband is a scientist and his father is a scientist. Um, and Ben has the kind of mind that just generally will gravitate towards science. He likes facts, concrete, tangible things that make sense, which is probably why diabetes is so frustrating for him, um, because it's not something that you can understand clear cut. A body part gives you insulin and it, well, if you get diabetes, it stops giving you insulin, so you have to give yourself shots or put the pod on somewhere and that stuff will give you insulin. He had maybe a few weeks of increased thirst, increased urination, and then also um, more times going to the bathroom overnight. And this also developed after he had a viral illness, so his parents uh, suspected diabetes that brought him into urgent care where he was found to have high blood sugar, so then they transferred him over to us at university. Diabetes is kind of like a roller coaster. Um, a roller coaster physically, a roller coaster emotionally, because you are trying to be your child's organ. And when you are the parent of a type 1 diabetic, you are functioning as your child's pancreas, which means that every morsel of food that goes into their body, you have to know, um, you have to account for, count the carbs, and give insulin for. Um, and it's not even just that easy. But those first couple days in the hospital, that was the job of the staff. Um, they controlled his blood sugar very quickly, so he by all accounts was healthy and able to go home, but they weren't going to send him home with us because we were the ones that needed the work, not him. They did a lot of education uh, between the nurses and then the Center for Diabetes and Endocrinology at University of Maryland, um, had their doctor and had their diabetes educators come over um, and just basically give us kind of a diabetes crash course of here are all of the basics you need to know, here's our emergency contact phone number, you're going to use it. Um, I remember the nurse said, you and I are going to be on a first name basis and we're going to be best friends for the next six months. Um, and that proved to be true. <laughs> like we're, We are still on a first name basis and I still contact her on a very, very regular basis. Um, but the staff there has been amazing in continuing ongoing care and support for him even a year and a half after discharge. There's a personal touch that we have at the Children's Hospital um, that it's hard to find in a place that has all the comprehensive services that we do. And I think that it makes a difference that the majority of the providers that children see at the Children's Hospital are really dedicated clinicians are there to take care of children. Once you've found a place where you know you're going to get good care, where you know that you're going to get good staff on every visit, then there's no reason to switch. Um, and there are. There are other locations that are closer to us now. Um, but we've been so happy there that we'll continue. Yeah, the doctors were really nice. Except for the shots. I didn't really like the shots then. He's such a positive and happy personality. Um, I have no doubt that he will remain positive about his disease and about his diagnosis. Um, and I have no doubt that he will become a scientist and that will be his goal, is to cure himself. That wasn't much of an explosion. 